So here at ISO, we present a mouse model, or it's a, it's a humanized mouse model with an endogenous immune system that's autologous to the tumor cells. And we generate these humanized, mouse, uh, these humanized mice by the injection of hematopoietic progenitor cells derived from human fetal liver. And then we generate tumor cells by infecting uh, B cells from that same donor um, with EBV, with Epstein-Barr virus, which leads to the, um, to the immortalization of the B cells and the generation of a tumorigenic lymphoblastoid cell line, or LCL. And uh, when we inject these LCLs into the humanized mice, we see an initial growth of the tumor and the, which is followed after approximately three weeks by the regression of the tumor. Um, however, if we inject the LCLs into non-reconstituted uh, NSG mice, we just see a tumor growth without regression. So we, um, this confirms that the endogenous immune system is functional and we have an immunocompetent mouse model. Um, when we further investigate, the, uh, the mice bearing an LCL tumor, we see an increased frequency of uh, T cells, also with a shift in the CD4 to CD8 ratio, uh, with more CD8 T cells around. And among the CD8 T cells, we, when we apply CD137 as a marker for tumor reactive T cells, we find these cells um, expressing a higher frequency of activation markers like CD39, CD69, and HLA-DR. Um, and also, um, in order to do, like, to confirm the tumor reactivity of these cells, we uh, apply a rapid expansion protocol and perform uh, functional assays. And in, in, in an interferon gamma Eli spot, uh, when we co-culture the CD137 positive CD8 T cells with the autologous LCLs, we see a higher reaction of these cells compared to the CD, uh, sorry, compared to the um, CD8 T cells from naive mice. And we don't see this difference when we compare the CD137 negative cells to the CD8 T cells from naive mice. So to summarize this, we, um, here we have a humanized mouse model with an endogenous immune system that's autologous to the applied tumor cells. And we could also show that we have an, a functional immunocompetent mouse model here. So this uh, mirrors the, uh, the, the situation in the patient better than the, the situation that we have in immunocompromised models that are frequently applied so far.